Hello, my name is Cord Sankstake. I'm a design engineer here at Sheldon Manufacturing. And today I'm going to be introducing the Shell Lab SCO 10A CO2 incubator. In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know to get the best results from this advanced incubator designed for optimal cell culture environments. This unit is equipped with advanced HEPA filtration providing ISO class five air quality within the chamber. It ensures a clean, contaminant-free environment for sensitive cell cultures. Now, let's take a look inside the unit. Each SEO 10A features two independently controlled five cubic foot workspaces. These are great to increase throughput in your lab, especially if you want to have two different temperature ranges going at the same time. This unit features a double door, double gasket feature to provide stable, precise, and uniform temperature control. Opening up the inner glass door, we see a couple things. First, our custom HEPA filter. This provides excellent ISO clean room status with inside the workplace. There is room for three shelves included within each unit, as well as a water pan to increase humidity inside the chamber. Given the fact that these are used in high humidity environments, we have taken extra steps to prevent condensation forming on this glass door. First, a door mounted heating element, as well as a door rim mounted heating element. Now let's take a look at the back of the unit. Coming around to the back, you'll see a couple different features. These are identical up top and down below. First, you will see the main power inlet. This must be connected to a properly grounded electrical outlet using the included power cord with the ship kit. It has an externally located fuse drawer should you need to replace the fuse. To the left of this, you'll find the CO2 port. This is used to supply CO2 to the chamber. Moving over here, you will find the two analog data logging connections, one for temperature and one for CO2. You also have a digital uh, data logging connection uh, through USB. Last, coming around to the left side of the unit, you see the CO2 sample port. This is used to monitor CO2 levels during operation. Once you've connected the unit to a properly grounded electrical outlet, we are ready to turn the unit on. For details on electrical connections, clearances, and other installation information, please reference your user manual. After powering on, the control panel becomes available. First, you will see the temperature screen. This allows the user to both read, adjust, and monitor temperature while in operation. To the right, you'll see a similar screen for CO2 level. The user is able to adjust, calibrate, set, make their own set point, and monitor as they see fit. These indicator lights tell you whether or not they are being activated. To the left, you will find the over temperature dial. This is a safety feature that allows the user to uh, set a cutoff point for their temp uh, of temperature to prevent runaway heating of their unit. If the light turns on, power has been cut to the heating elements our stacked Shell Lab SCO 10A CO2 incubator is ideal for use with cell cultures, stem cell research, microbiological studies in academics, biotech, and pharmaceutical industries.